Surah 29. A woman for whom I had saved from the Catholics thanked me deeply and wanted to do something for me because of what I did for her. But I told her, I am not the one to return the favor to, for I am not in the need of help. Instead, pass the deed on to another who has need of the deed. If I help you, you in return help another, as this will be the greatest praise and blessing you could give to me. For to feel the joy and peace of mind flowing from others is the greatest feeling I could possibly have. With this kind of energy, there is nothing I could not want if I use this energy in a positive way and by positive action. If you help someone else in the need of help, and they in turn help still another, this energy put forth will flow and become strong and all will benefit from it. I helped you that you might help others. Surah 30. When man can contain and hold energy, then man will find a way to create life. When man learns to create life and creates a human, then man will have the right to take away that life. But until that time comes, man has no right to take life from a creature he never created. If I made a bowl from a piece of clay, and I was able to use this bowl and choose not to use this bowl, I shall either keep it or destroy it. But only I have that right, for I am the creator of that bowl. My brother or kinswoman or stranger did not create the bowl. I gave them no right to destroy it. And if they destroy it without my knowledge, they are negative unto me and themselves. Let me proceed to choose how my bowl will be dealt with. Therefore, a human has no right to take the life of another human that she or he did not create. And those humans who take the life of another human create negative energy. For the life was not theirs to take, and another was affected by it in a negative way. Whatever negative energy you send out, it builds upon itself. It gets heavy. It falls within itself and has gone from one to one hundred times according to the generating velocity of the energy. Is how it returns back to you. Generating velocity travels at 10 parts to 100 parts per energy unit. Thus, from 10 times to 100 times will return to you. Surah 31. The volume of pure energy is the same in both positive and negative force. Negative force is more, dense at its center and draws itself down. Positive energy is less dense at its center, and it flows outward more. The space occupied by both fields is the same, but as a dog cannot fly, a bird his same size can. The bird flies with his outward stretched wings. Since the dog has nothing stretching outward to lift him into flight, he stays upon the earth. The bird goes up, the dog stays down. Negative energy is like the dog, it stays down. Positive energy is like the bird, it goes up. Negative energy continues to spiral into itself, pulling itself even further downward. Positive energy continues to spread itself outward, thus causing expanded energy to explode upon itself and building up even more energy, ever going upward. Yet each contains the same volume of energy as the other, one being warm and rising, the other cool and falling. The density of the pure energy from both is more solid than the hardest crystal, more ferocious than the center of the sun and the density, which is without a center point. The AXA connection is at the center ends of positive and negative forces. It is the center connection, which becomes the escape route to total freedom and full wisdom. When using the AXA force, you have escaped the force of all negative action and have complete control of everything that has been created. Surah 32. A woman of the low priesthood once asked me, why has this sacred knowledge died out in the last few thousand years? I answered her thus, if the world chose to live in truth rather than lies, alas, we would neither be near the end, but such is not so. The plan of things is for all humans to choose the way they shall go and to prove themselves worthy to live in the abode of the Creator. During Apsara's time, the people had no way to go for they did not know of a way, or did they know the truth of all things. They had never heard of any knowledge of God, or know anything concerning the nature of creation. Therefore, here was a man who comes along and teaches them new knowledge about existence, about creation, about life, about themselves, about the world around them and where they originally came from. During this period, when people were looking to improve their lifestyles and find themselves, Apsaras came upon the scene. He was much needed and welcomed. Since that time, there have been many religions to spring up amongst them, the dreaded Christian religion. When the Christian religion took hold and became powerful, many people took up this faith, also out of fear of belonging to any group or religion that was not Christian. Many persons of the Hidian faith either denied they were Hidians, or denounced their faith altogether and joined the Christian faith out of fear of being persecuted or put to death. As Christians usually killed their so-called enemies, or those that opposed them, those they did not kill, the tormented or cast into prison. It was a time of fear. There are many Hittians throughout the world, yet they meet and practice in secret. 
A time will come, however, when once again they will rise up and become the powerful people they were during the far ancient time. But until that time, they will go even deeper underground, become even more secret. Surah 33 When Apsuras first entered ancient Egypt, there was but few humans living there, and all were living within a tribal system. These tribal systems were quite modern, although for their day, inasmuch as the political arm was concerned, from their chiefs on down, small types of industries kept the people fed and clothed. Most of their industries consisted of making clothing, manufacturing, boat building, fishing, weaving, and sheep tending. From these type of industries, Apsaras used the same method to care for his followers, and from what he learned from the Egyptians, he passed on to his followers, thus building an industrial empire amongst his own people. Also from the Egyptians he learned the art of tent making and shipbuilding, which came in handy during his travels. The Egyptians were a mysterious type of people, who were far more advanced in those ancient times than any one of these modern times. They spoke of gods and people of the sky long before anyone else understood such things, and it was from them that Apsaras knew of what Aradia and Belisa had said to him must certainly be true, for this backed up everything he had thus learned so far. The Egyptians had their own form of religion. They wanted to hear about the Hidian religion, and great numbers of them took up the Hidian faith. It was through a combination of their own religion and the Hittian religion that Egypt built the Great Pyramids in the development of the Egyptian Empire. The Egyptians were a proud and stubborn type of people. They would not drop their own religion and become total Hittians. Thus they had in fact started a completely new type of Hittian religion, which has now become the Coptic Hittian religion of Egypt. However, this religion as of now is part Old Egyptian, part Hittian and part Christian. The Egyptian people were forever searching, and when most people had accepted and were satisfied with the Hidian faith, the Egyptians were not as they were looking for even higher levels of consciousness, which as yet they have not found. The world as we know it can be thankful for their own modern cultures, because it was the Egyptians that they got it all from. All modern court systems, trading, commerce, building arts, music, and government politics, all came from these great people, the Egyptians. And without them, I doubt many of us would be where we are today. Or for that matter, I doubt we could have made the strides we have thus far made. Surah 34 I have been accused of witchcraft and devil worshipping. As Hidians know and believe, we are here to help one another. And I shall continue to help everyone who needs help. There is no devil except the devil. That man has invented in his own mind. As far as witchcraft is concerned, that is the oldest religion there is. It was the religion that Apsaras's people believed in when Apsaras was a sage for his people and I see nothing negative about it if it is used in a positive way. Aradia told Apsaras to take amongst all the religions a part of them that was good and which was truth, and use them in part of the teachings, and a lot which is written in the QR. Beth is from these many religions, especially the teaching of the herbs and metals. Many witchcraft spells and ceremonial magic can be found in the QR Beth and the secret teaching of the faith. The Catholic Church was founded on black witchcraft and Christianity and in fact is still practiced to this day. The Catholic Church and the Hidian faith have the same meaning. They both deal with the word followers of God or the enlightened people of God. The marked difference in the Catholic religion and the Hidian religion is, however, that Catholics believe in practicing in a negative way, calling it positive, and the Hidians practice in a positive way, calling it positive. The Catholics wear black robes, negative. Their women cannot hold the priesthood. Their priests are not allowed to marry, not allowed to have children, their whole structure has to do with negative works, killing those who disagree with them, torture to persons practicing witchcraft, non-acceptance of everything made by the Creator, the belief of being punished after death while in the spirit for wrongs done against God, the belief that in order to be forgiven of these wrongs, one must go and confess before one of their priests, and that only he has the power of forgiving you. Thousands actually believe in this nonsense and are completely in the dark as to how the Catholic Church ever got started. And these same thousands believe that the Catholic Church is the only true religion, that it is positive, and that all other religions are false. They are completely programmed. Their minds and spirits are frozen in a negative path, and their souls are in ruins. I was born into a Catholic family and had once thought of becoming one of their priests, but a passing missionary of the Hidian faith showed me the truth of all things. My mind became opened and the light flowed in and to think how blinded I was before. If I am accused of practicing the Hittian way, then let them punish me. Let them take my life, for I am doing what the Creator wanted me to do, and I know I will be with the Creator upon leaving my earthly body. 
Surah 35, Aradia had told Apsaris that if any of his proctors were threatened in any way, or any harm should come to them by others, that Aradia would bring his power down upon any nation or person so bringing harm upon any Hittian proctor. Since I have been in prison, many of my accusers have met with violent deaths, disease has run rampant in this nation, and war is threatening upon them. I have told them, if they will release me, their troubles will cease, but now they say I am in league with the devil. They have not threatened my life and in fact they have been told that if I am physically harmed in any way, the Hidians would come out of hiding and destroy Rome at night while they slept. They fear that this threat might be carried out, as it was one of their own Catholic priests that told them this. Sura 36 I shall not ramble on about the negative things as I am writing this second book of the Sacred Arcanes, to enlighten rather than to unenlighten and shall proceed not toward that goal. Sura 37 The Creator is a radical creator. He creates to his will and whim as he dreams dreams. He goes deep within himself to think up new things in which to create. When he has created something, he continuously changes it to something else, or destroys it completely and creates something else. Mankind is like that, he creates things and then changes things, or completely destroys things and makes something new. This is how things have always been and always will be. The people of Aden who first came upon this earth to settle it, were that kind of people also. The Adonites were a far superior type of people than this earth has ever known. They had developed flying machines that could fly faster than the speed of light, buildings higher than mountains, explosive devices that could destroy whole planets, flying ships larger than cities and high mountains. If a person was maimed and near death, they could heal him and have him back on his feet within minutes with their far advanced machines. They could make artificial limbs and internal organs as good as the one a person was born with. They made artificial hearts, kidneys, livers, stomachs, sexual organs, and could even replace damaged brain cells. They had weapons that could melt rock and steel and other weapons that could put any creature to sleep from a distance of one mile. They had conquered all disease and could live for a thousand years. They could live in sky cities for years without setting foot on land and even live under the sea in cities or underground. They had metal harder than anything found on earth, yet as light as feathers and stronger than anything ever known on earth. The Edenites enjoyed this kind of life for hundreds of years and they continued creating new things. But like all mankind, they destroyed it all including their very planet, and had to leave and resettle on Earth. Their descendants also became a very advanced people, although not nearly as advanced of the original Adonites had been. And these descendants also destroyed everything they created, and their descendants went from the very primitive times to the very advanced stage, and they too destroyed themselves and again their descendants went to a very primitive state. Mankind seems to go in circles or cycles. He takes thousands of years to reach a very advanced state, then within a few years, he destroys everything he has gained and has to start all over again. The creator does the same thing. So man copies his creator and that becomes the pattern of things, the plan of everything. And until the creator changes his plans, man will not change his.